I'm here with Suzanne Muldowney, and she has an idea for a great new contest for the Olympics. Tell us about it, Sue. Back in 1985, I wrote uh, an underdog adventure involving him in extraterrestrial uh, Olympics. Uh, what happens is he, he, he saves this other solar system consisting of six planets from from some great cosmic disaster, and uh, uh, the planets decide to have a big festival and inform um, a visitor from one of the planets comes to Earth to inform Underdog about it, and uh, he, he, he lets this visitor know uh, about Earth's uh, similar sports festival known as the Olympics. You do have some thrilling games and some uh, triumphal moments uh, when Underdog excels in activities, but there, but there's also a super villain, uh, King Relte. Um, he, he he decides he, he wants Underdog done away with. Some of the uh, extraterrestrial athletes uh, and uh, Underdog come down uh, with a severe case of poisoning. Everybody's made to believe that uh, that Underdog's dead. When the period of mourning is over, there's a there's a massive aerial attack on the solar system uh, by uh, the planet the villain is from, like like there was at Pearl Harbor, and um, and then begins a, a, a reign of terror in which uh, some some athletic winners, not from the villain's planet, uh, get executed for winning, and some from the home planet who failed to win an activity are also uh, are, are also killed. Wow. You can't, you can't win for losing. Go on. Uh, Polly and the Earth journalists are working together in their room when suddenly uh, a black-clad guard from uh, the villain's home planet comes in and uh, says to watch him carefully. Uh, we see him reaching for something, but then uh, we see only the Earth people gasping. Ah! As they see what the... Uh, Soldier's done. Not, not another word now, says the soldier. Do not do exactly as I tell you. Then we switch to the arena where there's an activity taking place. The MC shuffles his notes and sees, sees, there's, sees there's one more competitor. And, and it's Underdog. He, 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 he's alive. The villain jumps out of the scene and says, What just that happened? How does this happen? How did this happen? What's going on here? When Underdog finished his number, he's uh, he's linked with the uh, villain and uh, the villain's home uh, planet war machine in 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 a, in a battle to the finish. And what happens? It, or or should should the people read that? The people should read that. Okay, so and so the the contest is going to be based on uh, people. Uh, going through the story and picking out the parts that they like best, and then doing drawings from it, right? Yes, yes. It's, this is a this is a drawing contest. Uh, uh, everybody who's interested uh, get themselves uh, acquainted with the plot of the uh, of the Underdog Olympic story. It's called Interplanetary Olympic Horror. Okay, and I'll make sure to provide a link for it so that people can uh, get their mitts on it. And then they'll submit drawings in whatever uh, way that they draw. If people do pencil drawings, they'll do pencil drawings. If people do uh, computer art, they'll do computer art. Uh, some of the rules, there are rules. Um, since this is a story with uh, Suzanne as underdog, you must draw underdog as, you know, Suzanne, right? Not, not underdog's original head. Yeah, so you're not going to do it with uh, underdog as total television version of as, underdog. As the original. Yeah, so you, it, it would be as Suzanne. So they, they acquaint themselves with the story and then draw pictures of the uh, thrilling moments that they like most in it. Thrilling moments. So read it, pick the read most, thr the, people are going to read your story, and they're going to pick the most thrilling moments, and they will depict it in drawing. But the individual artists may not all choose the same one moment as the uh, solid moment. Uh, different artists could find different um, points of interest and submit um, a wide range of drawings uh, depicting uh, a number of different incidents. 
we have to consider how so many uh, science fiction uh, TV series, comic series that that involves Earth people and extraterrestrials. For the most part, the extraterrestrials all looked very similar to Earth people. Uh huh. Well, I have to send a, a picture of the, um, the the villain because he because he has a definite uh, um, mood to set. Okay. But, uh, um, the best time period for people to be drawing and submitting the pictures, their drawings, is during the actual time block that that the Tokyo Olympics take place. That's that's. Friday, July 23rd through Sunday, August 8th. August 8th would be the dead run to send in pictures and then uh, we put them over and uh, award prizes for the best ones in, uh, in, in the weeks or so following the Olympics. Right on. All right, so, so that'll be good. So people will, will do drawings while they're inspired by watching the Olympics in Tokyo. All right, well, I'm looking forward to this great uh, contest, Suzanne. I will definitely be submitting some artwork myself. I'm hoping to win. <laughs> and uh, I will be encouraging all the other artists to step up and draw some stuff, too. Okay. Uh... Oh, uh, oh, prizes. People want to know about prizes, Suzanne. We will be sending them something special. So we won't, we won't determine what, what it will be yet, but it will be something you will definitely be uh, shocked and amazed by. And it will be from you personally. <laughs> Right. And you and I should uh, talk privately later on to figure out what they are. Okay, so we will figure it out. Something that the that people will love. Reach out to us at uh, SuzanneMuldowney.com and also MuldowneyVille at Gmail. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.